what's going on guys welcome back now this is my third attempt at making this video because every time i start making this video i really don't know if i wanted to put this out there because i know for a fact people is going to disagree with me and it's not that i have a problem with people disagreeing with me it's a matter of should i or should i not say this um but I believe I should. And that's why I keep attempting to, um, to say this, to articulate these points of mind that I've been trying to make over the past couple of weeks. We all know what's been happening in the world. We've had a couple of incidents also that happened since then. Um, you know, a couple of cases towards what has been happening but what i want to say is that why is it that i cannot come on this platform and express who i am what i believe and not get crucified for it you get what i'm trying to say it's just weird to me i'm gonna take my time to get through this video because i don't want to say anything that offends anybody, even though I know that it probably will offend somebody in some way, or they're going to take it the wrong way. So let me just get it out. Okay. Let me just get it out. I am a person that stands for right and wrong. Okay. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. If you were not upset about the situation that happened, the incident, we all know what I'm talking about. I made a video about it right if you were not upset about that if you were not disgusted you also got to understand that the media is going to concentrate on the movement not the random people that go out to protest about what happened there were plenty of random people that don't have any association with blm that went out there to support the protest. Was it just BLM that was protested? Protesting? No. No, it wasn't. But the media is going to make it seem like that's all this is about. Now, I've already explained my stance on the BLM movement. I've already explained my stance on it. I think when it started out, it was genuine for the right reasons, but I think it has become something of a political agenda, but I don't think that all factions of BLM are doing that. That's the thing. And that's what gets caught up in everybody. Cause everybody thinks that, you know, BLM is just one movement, one mind and all this other stuff. You also got to understand that with BLM, there are people who believe in the in 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 the movement that believe that they should go out and loot and cause crazy riots and all of this other stuff and there are other people that are tr there are other people in the movement that are trying to do things peacefully now it's very hard to differentiate and i get it it's really hard to differentiate who's out here inciting violence because for every movement and for ev not everybody in the movement is going to think the same way you get what I'm trying to say? Some people want to say, oh, it's a leftist movement and all of this other stuff is started by the left. They're all Democrats. You know what I mean? And all of this other stuff. I am not affiliated with any political party as a favorite. I, I'm i not that guy. You get what I'm saying? If I vote, I'm going to vote for the guy I think can do the job. There's no bias. You get what I'm saying? There's no bias. I'm going to vote for the guy that I think could do the job. I didn't vote for Trump because I am a man that does business. And I don't think up you can run a country like a business. That's just my thinking. That's just was my evaluation of Donald Trump. When it comes on to business, you can't touch the man. You can't blemish his record. People hate him because of old, you know, taxes he's filed bankruptcy over the years and blah 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 the man is just using the loopholes in the system as a businessman i can't knock him for that another thing 
about this entire situation that's been going on is people not understanding what me as a black person go through in this country. And people are trying to find all these other things to talk about because they can't stand. It's uncomfortable for them. And I get it, man. I get it. It's uncomfortable. But you with your uncomfortableness or you are your uncomfort, I should say. Um, you are in that same attitude, in that same attitude of your uncomfort, right? You are not hearing me. <laughs> you are not hearing it because you're being ignorant of the fact that I cannot change the color of my skin. I want you to understand what I'm trying to say. And I'm not saying that people on this channel is not understanding. I'm just saying like when I leave comments on other videos and stuff like that, how people just, they just jump at it and make it seem like when I'm trying to, to put a point across and not trying my hardest not to make it seem like, oh, I'm promoting this over this. And I'm just kind of staying in the middle and just letting you know how I feel about the situation down the middle, straight down the middle as a black man trying to tell you that I'm not a, re I do not tell you guys have heard me say multiple times on this channel on, on reactions and all of this other stuff, how I don't tolerate racism from anyone. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. I, I don't care. I don't tolerate it from anyone. I've met plenty of black racist people that don't think that they're racist because they believe that black people can't be racist. I've met plenty and I've reprimanded them. They don't like me, but that's how it is. That's just how it is because you see racism is not one sided. It's just it's not. So you can say, oh, you know what I'm saying? You can't be telling a white person not to say the n-word because it triggers you somehow and then you turn around and call him a cracker that's also racism you get what i'm saying that's racism that's calling them a derogatory term that they don't like let them call themselves that let us call ourselves the n-word that's cool nothing wrong with that if if, if somebody tells you that they don't like a word that you're calling them name calling is your duty to honor that because if it hurts them i remember i'm gonna give you guys a simple example i'm gonna give you guys a simple example right of a situation i had a friend well, we're still friends i shouldn't say had i have a friend right and i didn't know she has really you know what I'm saying? Compared to her body structure and her head, she had really, like, long ears. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it was abnormal, the size of her ears compared to her head. Um, And I didn't know that subconsciously she was, this was like maybe like a month or two into our friendship, Right. And I didn't know that she was very self-conscious about it. I didn't know because I just didn't know. And you know what I'm saying? I made fun of her ears one time. Just how to just ragging on her because that's what we do. And she just, she just shut down. And I was wondering what happened. Like, you know, of course, when you do something like that, you know, you're thinking, did I go too far? It's either you're going to be that concerned or you're just going to continue like nothing happened. You get what I'm saying? But I'm that person like I can pick up based on if you know the person for for a, 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 a set amount of time. You can tell when people are not in agreement with you. They, you know, they laugh about anything and then you say something and they just shut down and they're not laughing. You just hurt them. Right. You just hurt them. And that person might not even tell you that you hurt them. So me and my inquisitive self, this is who I am. I asked her, I'm like, 
no, seriously, did I just, did I just hurt your feelings? And she's like, she didn't want to answer at first. She didn't want to answer at first, but she said, yeah, I'm like, why? You know what I'm saying? It's a part of your body. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we rag on each other all the time. You make fun of me. I make fun of you. I didn't think that would have been so far, but she said that specifically is a, is a soft spot for me because she, she was basically telling me the story of, you know, when she was younger, when she was in school, when she was in high school, people, you know, kids used to make fun of her and call her Dumbo, you know, and that really struck a chord with her when I made fun of her ears, you know what I'm saying? So I told her right there and then I was like, okay, I will never do that again. And I never did it again. And that's what I'm trying to say. You have to validate people's feelings. If they tell you something, like how I'm telling you, I feel this way when I leave when I leave my home and I jump into my car. I have a totally different mindset than you who are white. You get what I'm saying? I'm telling you, you do not have this mindset. If you do, fine. But you're not in the majority. I'm telling you this. You are not in the majority of white people that that go out and may feel like, oh, today I might get pulled over and something might go wrong. Because you might say, you know, you might be thinking, oh, if you just comply, if you don't resist, you will live through it. But why, why do I have to get treated like this out the box? Why? That's what we want to know. Why are we being treated still to this day less than human? That's what I want to know. Why do we have to go out here trying to be fighting for civil liberties when it should have been just so? Why? That's what we're asking. That's what that's what I want to know. Trust me, it's different. It's different. And this is not taking on some sort of victim mentality, as some people like to say. It's not that. I've told you guys this story over and over again. I've told you this story. I was not born in this country. I never experienced racism until I came to this country. I never did. I didn't know what it's like for somebody to um, to look at me and call me the N-word out of hate. I didn't know what that was like. I thought everybody in America was cool. I mean, that's how it's portrayed on TV. That's all the experience I had before I came to this country. It's like, everybody's cool. America's a great place. Come and enjoy the American dream. And then when you get here and you hear all these people talk, and I've always had these debates with black people when I came here because I wanted to know more about the culture. Now, mind you, I'm trying to get everything out I want to say in this video because I'm not going to, going to make another one of these videos. I have had debates with black people, talking to them, people who was, you know, their grandfather was a slave, great grandfather was slave, mother, grand, great grandmothers were slaves, conversations, and they will, they will tell you it's different, man. It's different. Now, I do not like, I've always, I'm against when black people use it as a crutch to not do anything with their life. I hate that shit with a passion. I hate it. I hate it with a passion because you're just lazy. Point blank, period. You're just lazy. Ain't got nothing to do with white supremacy. Nothing. Now, the glass ceiling does exist because I've witnessed it for myself. All these things that they will tell you about, it is there. 
There's no denying it. Yes, you, it shouldn't be that we have to work twice, three times, ten times harder than a white person to get to a certain level. It shouldn't be that way, but it is. Is that an excuse for me to sit on my ass and not do nothing? Hell no. No. Listen, you guys, are, you guys, you're talking, somebody is sitting here right now that have probably, I don't think I've, I've hit the bottom of the bottom, but I've hit some level of the bottom. You're talking to someone who was, who was homeless at one point and had to build himself back up and it wasn't easy, right? You're talking to a person who has been divorced. You talk, I've, I'm a statistic at this point. Period. You get what I'm saying? And, um, you know, a lot of people, they'll start, they'll start their rebuttal to what you're trying to say with this. I understand, but I'm like, bro, if you understand me, no, if you're going to start, just start with the disagreement. Don't say I understand, but because if you do understand, you would know that I'm not trying to bash white people and say all white people are racist or all white people are bad. You would understand that you would not necessarily have such a strong rebuttal and trying to make political points and all of this other stuff. Like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that because statistics not not statistics but political arguments validates nothing it doesn't validate anything you can you can talk and you can say oh oh they're trying to push an agenda it does not change the fact that a little kid bouncing a basketball outside a black kid bouncing his basketball outside in his own yard in the front of his yard in front of the garage shooting hoops by himself with a car parked there saw a police squad car coming and he hid behind the damn car a kid that is no more than about nine years old it doesn't change that fact you get what i'm saying he wasn't doing anything wrong. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably seen that video. He wasn't doing anything wrong. What kind of world do, 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 not world, what kind of country do we live in where stuff like that can happen and we're going to sit down and, and, and make it seem like this shit ain't real? Are you serious? Do you really have a counter argument to when you see stuff like that? Do you really? I mean, seriously, a, a police officer killed a man in cold blood in front of a, in front of a camera. Didn't give a shit. He had his hands in his pockets. He had his hand in his pockets with his full body weight on a guy, neck, on his neck. And your argument to that, instead of shutting your mouth, if you ain't got nothing good to say, instead is to bring up his rap sheet? Are you serious? It d does there have to be a counter argument to everything? Does there has to be? I want you guys to explain that to me. Does there have to be a counter argument to everything? Why can't it be? Um, I saw what happened, man. That shit hurt me. It hurt to see that because that could have been me. Why can't it be that? Why it has to be why it has to be the counter to everything? All lives matter. Why does it have to be um a counter argument? 
Black Lives Matter is a leftist movement. Why does there have to be a counter argument to everything? Why does it have to be, oh, they, you know, the, the, they're trying to turn all of these things are happening because of Trump wanting to be a dictator. I could give a rat's ass. The problem is here, right here and now. People are trying to say that the Black Lives Matter movement, pe people are trying to say this incident was a setup. That was the worst thing I heard out of this whole thing, was that the whole thing is a setup. They're setting it up so that, so, I mean, we don't want to look at him as a sacrificial lamb, right? We don't want to look at him as a sacrificial lamb. You don't want to consider the fact that this police officer was in the wrong. I mean, you know, as I said, a lot of stuff don't hit home with a lot of people until it really hits home. You get what I'm saying? People like Candace Owens is just, they're confused. They, they don't know what to do with themselves. Because... For everything, you know, they feel like they have to make a statement. And that's the issue. Sometimes you just need to shut up and not say anything. If that's what you were planning to say, you should have considered you should have considered the fact that nobody well, sure enough, not me, wasn't looking at George Floyd as some sort of hero. Hell no. I wasn't looking at, no, I wasn't looking at him as some sort of sacrificial, no martyr and all of this other stuff that you're saying. Listen, I watched the man die on video. It was hard to watch because I looked at that and I'm like, that could have been me, a law abiding citizen. It could have been me. It could have been a simple misunderstanding because, you know, they come at us with the fit the description thing all the damn time. You guys must have seen the video of Jay Farrow and what happened to him. Um, a week prior to that, I was actually on Ventura. I was exercising as I'm walking across the street, Corbin and Ventura. I see an officer to the left of me. I'm not thinking anything of it because I'm a law-abiding citizen. And also keep in mind, I got my Bose headphones on, no, noise canceling, you know, so it's really, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my zone right now. I look to my left, the officer, I see him coming with guns blazing. I see him, I see him say, get on the ground, put your hands up like you're an airplane. As he's looking at me, I'm thinking that he's making a mistake, so I'm looking past where he's looking, I'm looking at him and I'm looking past me because I'm like, whoever they're about to get, it's just about to be terrible. No, he was coming to get me. Four officers got their guns blazing. They tell me to get on the ground, spread my arms out. They put me in cuffs. The officer took his knee, put it on my neck. Um, it wasn't as long as uh, George Floyd, but um, I know how that feels. I said, why are you doing this? Like, what's wrong? They said, you fit the description of a black man in this in this area, um, in a gray shirt. Um, I told them, I said, if you look, Google right now, Jay Farrow, you will see that you made a big mistake. A minute later, after I was detained in cuffs, and keep in mind, they've already asked me, do you wanna, you, you wanna sit on the side? I'm like, no, I don't even wanna be on the ground. They come back, they say, we're sorry, uh, we just got a call in that it's not you. I say, yo, get these, get these, excuse my French, get these effing cuffs off of me. I had never been in cuffs before up until that point. I'm a law-abiding citizen. You know, I'm from the burbs, you know? Luckily, my parents, what they did was they tried to uh, shelter me and my sister for years. So we never saw that. I haven't, I didn't experience firsthand racism in America until this year. He posted the video of him getting freaking in the same position they put a foot on his neck because he fit the description. Are you serious? I 
I mean, you don't even know if it's someone just saw the man jogging and be like, you know what? I'm going to F up this guy's day right now. You know what I mean? I mean, when you have to, to, to be on the ground telling a police officer, Google me. And you'll see that that's me. You, you ain't looking for me, bro. I mean, you guys don't go through it. You guys don't get pulled. I don't even know, bro. You know, I heard, you know, I was listening to someone. I don't want to say that person's name because I'm disagreeing with everything that he's doing right now. What he's saying right now. You know, I, I heard him make a, a video on YouTube saying he's never experienced racism before. This is a black man, right? And I said, okay, lucky you. That's all I can say. Lucky you. But don't make it, make it out to seem like nobody else is experiencing racism. You might be in the 0.00001% of people, of black people who has never experienced racism in this country. In some way, shape, or form. Don't just throw a blanket over it because of yourself. I don't do that. But the majority, the majority is there. It's palpable. It's right in front of your eyes. You see it. You know, I also saw this video of this little girl. There's this thing that's going on on TikTok that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these white kids, Latino kids, they're, you know, secretly videotaping their kids talking about, um, they're secretly videotaping their parents talking about these issues. Do you know how many kids? I actually, no, shut up. No. Can you, can you shut your mouth for a minute? No. Because I actually work in the ghetto. I see the people. Do you know why they're in that position? I see these people. Do you understand the systematic and historical reason for why they're in that position? They don't care. All they want to do is be ghetto. No. Yes, there's no. some that don't and there's good people. No. Members, most of them just want to suck off the system or do something bad like drugs or gangs. And that's all they They care have about. been oppressed. They have it not been given matter. the they same the opportunities you have yes, had. They do. And there's plenty of black people. No, they don't, there's plenty Dad. Of, there's plenty of money and you not recognizing that as an issue is the reason why it's still continuing today. I, I see them all over. There's all kinds of successful people that are of color. It doesn't matter what color, brown, white. But it's orange, a lot harder yellow. for them to get to that it position. It doesn't matter. When they do, they're fine. But there's always filthy animals. And that you're calling you're calling people of color. Black no. animals. You're calling them animals. I'm talking. You didn't Are let you finish. kidding me? You didn't let me finish. That's not okay. No, no matter what, that's not okay. No matter what, it's it not okay. okay. Racism is not okay. Why do you think that racism is okay? <laughs> Here. Oh, that's mine. Really, I'm gonna look at. No, I'm looking at statistics. That's my Your statistics can't. They can be warped. Statistics can be warped. You want to show? You want me to show you videos? Do you want me to show you videos of cops? Why is, why, I will do why it. Is wrong? Because they can be warped. I'm not giving statistics right now. They can be warped. Personal experiences can't. No, because this is actually putting it into play. When you, do I need to show you a bunch of videos of cops attacking protesters? Peaceful protesters. You mean I'm informed and educated? Yes, I am. Mom, I was watching political stuff and you said to turn that off because you don't want to hear about it. Because that I'm means that I am educated it. on it and you are not. It. I'm sick of hearing it. The fact that you can have that ignorance, really, ignorance for the majority is bliss. Okay, so ignorance for the minority so I'm is looking at destruction. That are wrong. This is just pure wrong information out there. Just give me the statistic. In 2017, 457 white people were shot to death by the police in the United States. Okay. 223 were black. 76% of the population is white. 13% is black. 
I if, that. if they were being killed at the exact same rate by police officers, the rate of black people being killed would be 8.9. But it's not. It's 24%. The rate of white people being killed should be about where it is. So they're being killed at a higher rate. There is more white people, meaning that the amount of people killed by cops who are white would be higher. The reaction of the person. I'm not saying because they're I'm tired. Not saying it's they're tired right. of being treated I'm that way. I'm not saying it's right. Good. But if they started teaching them that this is the world that we live in, you don't want to be killed. Why do you think your friend's father taught him that? Because so that his, this so his that black he, son doesn't end up dead like Tamir Rice. Because he doesn't want him to grow up with the chip on his shoulder. That he doesn't no want his black son to end up dead. Exactly. That's not okay. Why do you think that's okay? Because why is this something that you're okay with? Why is I'm that a reality not, that you're okay with? I'm okay with it. But you are. No, I'm not. I'm so saying. stand against it. So stand against it. If you're not okay with it, so you stand know against when it. Stand against it. When the black people in the ghetto. Stop carrying an illegal weapon. When the black people in the ghetto stop murdering each other. I'll start caring about cops when they stop killing black people. Um, I'll start caring about black people when they stop killing cops. And they're talking to their parents just to see how their parents think about these issues. And, and it's surprising to me. Still, it's still, I mean, you never get used to hearing these things you just never get used to it because it's just like how how can you think like that how can another how can a, a human being think about another human being like that how it's mind-blowing man you know what i'm saying it's mind-blowing bro it's mind-blowing Wow, hopefully I got everything out that I wanted to say in this video. I don't want to make this any longer. I just want you guys to un to understand that these issues, I believe that it, it affects us on a different level than it would affect you. I'm not saying that makes you less than. I'm not saying it makes you more than. I just want you to understand. That's all I'm asking people to do is to understand. Just understand. And this is coming from from some I'm tell, I'm telling you guys, like I don't affiliate myself. I don't call myself a Democrat. I don't call myself a Republican. I could give a rat's ass what those people are doing. Cuz whatever they do is just it's going to affect you. It's going to affect you on some level, and sometimes it's so minuscule what governments do, unless it's like, you get what I'm trying to say? At the end of the day, as long as you're not taking away my opportunities to grow, man, do whatever the hell you want to do. Because at the end of the day, in my opinion, all politicians are liars. They, they stand up for very little things sometimes for what they want to believe, for, for, for what they believe in, and stuff like that. So that's just my opinion. Not saying all politicians are like this is what I believe. They might not all be liars, but this is what I believe. I just, I believe that if you give them the opportunity to tell the truth most of the time, they're going to lie. To save themselves, to, to save their ass. Oh, we gonna say the right thing. You know what I'm saying? They are politicians, they're professional liars, they are professional deflectors. When it comes on to answering questions, I'm just asking you guys to understand where I'm coming from on this channel when I speak, when you hear me say something, understand things from my perspective. I don't want to hear about the political perspective. I just, I don't want to hear it because you're just making an, up an, an excuse that makes you feel comfortable with this situation, in my opinion. That's what I feel like you're doing. Just to make yourself feel like, oh, it's okay to be that way, to think that way. No. No, it can't be like that. It cannot be like that. You know what I'm saying? And 
you know, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to say, oh, you should just stick the reactions and all this other stuff. But if something is on my mind, I should feel good enough to um, to talk to you guys about it and you give me back your feedback about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to tell you guys to shut up either. I don't want you to take what I'm saying out of context. I'm not telling you to shut up and not tell, tell me how you feel. What I want you to, 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 to do is understand what I as a black man is in America goes through. I want you to validate those feelings for me. Whatever you say is not going to change how, how I feel. But all we've been asking all this time is just for comprehension. That's, that's pretty much all we've been asking for. We want things to change, but change is not come if every time we say how we feel, somebody is just combating it with some stupid argument. Come on. I mean, you know, how would you like to know if you if you saw me, if you saw me on on somebody videotaping me and you saw my face that you see on these reactions all the time being held down, regardless of if it's a black cop or white cop, whatever, being held down and I survived that situation, right? Are you going to look at me and be like, were you resisting? I survived the situation. I come on here. I tell my story and you in the comment section saying, were you resisting? What happened? What did you do wrong? Does that have the right for a police police officer to put his full weight on my neck and try to kill me? Does it? That's what I'm saying when people come with these counter arguments and you're like, okay, I guess I deserve it. I, I don't know. I guess I deserve it because I didn't put my hands out the window. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, did, did, did Philando Castile, did he deserve to die? You know what I'm saying? It's those stupid arguments that I can't get over when people, it's like they don't get it. Something is wrong, innately wrong with the police force in this country, nationwide. And I will go as far, this is not a black or white issue either. It's not, it, this is a police citizens issue, police versus citizens issue. It just so happens that black people wants to go wants to go out there and be like y'all are killing us. We are only 13% in this country. 13% out of the 300 and something million people that's in this country. Only 13% of that is black people. And you're wondering why we're outraged when you kill a couple of us? It's not a lot of us, man. You know, it's not a lot of us. I, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. If somebody, if somebody kills a cop, the whole, all, all the division, all the precincts come together looking for that one guy. Regardless of if it's a black or white guy, because you kill one of them, you kill. I mean, if 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 you guys don't, if you see a white person die like that, right, and you're not out protesting, that says a lot about you guys. You guys don't give a shit. That's that's the problem. Because if you gave a shit, you would be out in the street protesting about this that too. And I'm not saying. I'm not saying this to say that, you know, black people don't care about white people or anything like that. Because I know that argument is going to come. So are you saying that black people don't care about white people? No, that is not what I'm saying. I'm saying black people in, in most of the time, as I said, they concentrate on the movement 
more than they concentrate on the random individuals that are just there for the sake of being there because they want to support the protest against police brutality. That's all I'm saying. We get up for us. And when if I if I see a the thing about it is that the media should highlight all of these deaths if they're captured on tape, body cam, whatever, regardless of if it's white or black, it needs to be up there. But for some reason, because the media was, the media is always going to try to push a narrative. So they are going to push the narrative when the black people are doing it because they want they, they want you to see the outrage. I want you to take that stuff out of your mind. I wish that when, you know, I, I wish that when um, the, the whites get killed or killed by police or whatever, I wish that stuff was caught on camera too. But for some reason, you guys are not videotaping that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I guess subconsciously, maybe if they see something like that happening, you don't, you're not going to, you're not necessarily going to see a black person care that much. And that's wrong too. That's wrong too. So for my white people out there, please, if you see this happening to a white person, pull out your phone. I want to see that too, because I'm outraged at police brutality not about cops killing black people. That's the narrative that is being pushed. Yes, and it's devastated. And I understand. But if you see something like this happen where a cop is, you know, abusing their power against white people too, videotape that shit and put it up, man. Put it up. But you see, the thing, the, the, the thing about it is that, as I said, the news is not going to highlight that stuff because it doesn't, of it. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say towards that because it's just inherently wrong what they're doing. And that's the reason why I don't necessarily watch news like that. Like I don't watch news. I haven't even watched one news coverage of this entire thing since it happened. I saw the video. I saw the video. And then all the other videos that I've watched about this is that vi people at peaceful protests and stuff like that. People videotaping, people looting, all these raw videos. That's what I watch. I saw also some people that videotape, you know, news reporter, news reporters getting abused by cops. The, the you know, the riot police, whatever, come out with the riot gear and stuff like that. Just abusing them for no reason. Just hitting them for no reason. Pushed over an old man. All of this other stuff. Just for no reason. Why? You get what I'm saying? I'm upset at cops. I'm upset that there's that, that there's no when when things when things do happen, it seems like there's no repercussion for their action. There's no there's nothing. There's no stakes. We hold our military has to follow certain rules and for some reason police just get to do whatever the fuck they want i i just don't get it to have this stupid law in new york the stop and frick shit that bloomberg put in i mean for what you 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 can't just look at a person and be like mm, you look suspicious let me search your person do you know how humiliating that situation is? Do you know how angry somebody could get in that situation knowing that they didn't do anything and you're searching their person just because you can? Do you know how violated a person can... <sighs> you guys get the point. You, you get the point. I don't want to continue this video any further because I said that 15 minutes ago. But this is just, it, it just, it rubs me the wrong way when people don't validate others' feelings about situation because it's just like somebody telling you, hey, I have anxiety. And you're looking at them and telling them, what are you anxious about? There's nothing to be anxious about. <laughs> you guys, you don't get it, man. But I hope you do.
I hope you do. I hope I've articulated myself, explained myself very sensibly in this video. Um, as I said, man, I made two attempts at making this video before and, f and I finally got through it. I was trying to make this from yesterday and I said, I'm determined to get through this video because I, I, I keep stopping throughout it because I wasn't sure if, 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 if it was going to go over well, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to stray off topic too much. You know what I mean? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, you know, let me know if you watch the entire thing. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video, but I don't even know, you know, so you guys watch it. You don't watch it. It's okay with me, you know, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all, man. As always, if you like it, if you dislike the video, you can put a dislike. It's, it's no issue, man. It's no issue over here. My heart is just pleading out to you guys. You know, not it, it's not for help. It's not for victimhood. It's for understanding. It's for understanding. And that's all I can ask. Because me alone cannot... Um, me alone can can induce change. I, ca I can't do it by myself. So the least I can do is to put this out there for at least my core audience to see that I have a, a way or a platform to present something. You get what I'm saying? Because me alone is not going to make no change. You get what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I, I didn't go to any of the protests. I didn't go to any of the protests. Because as I told you guys, I, I was scared out of my, I, I know, I've been to protests before, but this one, it just felt different to me. I felt like some bad things went down at these protests. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go to any of them. You know, I didn't drive to any of them. You know, I, t I still think that it was very risky of people to be out there, but they were out there. They were out there, and now we're having this second uprising of COVID going on. So, there's that too. I appreciate y'all, man. Leave a like, a dislike, whatever you feel like rating the video. You know, um, I'll catch you guys later, man. That's all I have to say. Hope I said everything. Um, in a way for you to understand, um, for all the people who are out there that are still doubting this situation that's going on, it's very real. And I know, you know, I don't want it to get into that space of things are dying down and it, it, it has not been addressed. You get what I'm saying? Um, so we're at a standstill right now. We're at a standstill right now and something needs to be done. Some change needs to be happening in the police department, you know, um, th that's what I'm hoping that something happens, you know, nationwide, not just in some states, nationwide. So we'll see how things go. Appreciate y'all, man. Peace.